So you keep hearing everyone talking about the benefits of meditation but you tried it and find it so boring. So you just gave up. Trust me, I've been there too. But when I decided to stick to it for like 10 minutes every day, sometimes more, sometimes less, it literally changed my life. So the first thing I noticed was that I became more self-aware of my thoughts. So I see a lot of people saying they are in control of their thoughts and I don't like to use this term because when the thought wants to pop out in your mind, it's gonna pop out. It's not like you are actively trying to think about it. But the thing is with meditation, you can notice it, not identify with it and just let it pass by. And by just observing your thoughts, you become more self-aware and more conscious. And you tap more into the energy of consciousness and your higher self. And that will help you tremendously breaking old patterns and moving forward with intention. The second benefit is becoming more aware of my emotions. This has helped me a lot separate my, my own emotions from other people's emotions. I used to get so down and not because something happened to me but because I took off other people's emotions as mine. In pets, you know what I'm talking about. So right now I identify it quickly and try to release it. This also helped me react less. I'm not perfect, I'm still working on that. I heard this somewhere that it's not the situation that makes us feel a certain way. We are responsible for our emotions. And that if we say, I feel like this because this happened or this situation, then we are victims. And if we are victims, that means we're given our power away. And I was like, oh hell no, nah, I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to give my power away. And I'm not saying we can't be victims. I personally was sexually abused as a child and so I was a victim. I don't want to let those moments control my life forever. Okay, that was a lot to share. Let's bring it back to light examples. So let's say you're running late and you spill your coffee. You can say, fuck this day is the worst and keep thinking negatively throughout the whole day. And if this happened to you, then you are gonna keep manifesting negative things. You're gonna drop your keys, bump your head, forget something. And that means that moment is still controlling your life and we don't want that. And meditation really helps with that. The third thing is that it helped me plan the day better. So whenever I'm sitting in meditation, after I finish visualizing or just sitting in silence, I start to plan the day in my head. So Tony Robbins says, include in your meditation three things you are gonna do today. I tried his meditation techniques few years ago, but I stopped after a few days. I was like, I'm gonna wake up every day at five, exercise, do all these things, learn a new language, and then I stopped everything. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate. But right now, I can't imagine stopping meditation. Even if I'm not home, I will still meditate. Because the thing is, you gotta find what works for you. For me personally, I can get bored easily, so I don't put like guidelines. Some days I just sit in silence, some days I do affirmations, some days I do a combination of both and visualize or plan the day, it really depends. But what I do every day is tapping into the energy of what I want to feel in the future. So anyways, when you are sitting in meditation thinking about how your day is gonna go by, you are gonna achieve whatever you wanted to do. Because you are programming your mind and yourself to do that. And that leads us to the fourth point which is manifestation. So when you are sitting still, not thinking about the past, not thinking about your job, and you choose to focus on what you want to achieve and visualize it, you are gonna start feeling that energy and tapping into those emotions. And when this happens, according to the law of attraction, baby, you already manifested it. Because the energy of emotions is bigger than the energy of thoughts. So when you do this, you literally become a magnet of what you want to manifest. And you are gonna see things falling into your lap and manifestations coming through left and right. And also when you feel that beautiful energy of what you want to manifest, you're gonna take it with you the whole day. And so you're not gonna keep obsessing over it or feel in lack. And also the more you feel it, the more your negative thoughts about that situation will disappear. Because when your body feels something, it doesn't matter if it happened in the past or it still hasn't happened. It's gonna perceive as it's happening in the present. Your mind is gonna believe it and all those blockages are gonna go away. Number five, and I love this one, and it is downloads. So when we are in meditation and tapping into our higher self and inner wisdom 
and cosmic wisdom and awareness and consciousness. And we can do that because our energy goes to higher levels. And that will make you see visions, images, hear things, and get that intuitive feeling on wherever you needed clarity on. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm in meditation and I start getting all these ideas and downloads. I literally stop and start writing them down. So if you wanted to strengthen your intuition or psychic abilities, then meditation is amazing for that. And the fifth and final benefit, and I think everyone who tried meditation has felt that, and that is inner peace. When you're sitting down or laying down, no distraction, not thinking about what you did, what you need to do, or analyzing anything. You can do that, like planning the day as we said, but do it before or after, whatever you like. And so you start to feel more... And so you start to feel more like your soul. And so you're gonna feel so much more peace and unconditional love. And you're gonna feel light, high vibrational energies. So the more you sit there, being aware, just observing, not judging, not identifying with anything, the more you are gonna feel bliss and happiness and so much more peace and joy. And the more you do it, the more it will become easier to tap in into those energies. And please don't get discouraged if you don't tap in those energies the first few times. It's totally normal. Have you guys tried meditation? Please tell me how you meditate and if you felt any of these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.